we have the 4G Verizon Internet Gateway. Now, Verizon does also do the 5G as well, and this is home internet. So in certain areas, Verizon sold off their division for home internet in terms of underneath the ground, right? Their fiber optics um, sold it off to Frontier. Um, in some areas, Verizon still does have the home internet for the home division, if you will. So it's a separate division, home and wireless. This one is actually for wireless and it's from the wireless division. So it works off the towers. A lot of folks say, well, how do I know this is gonna work good in my home? Well, if you have Verizon now for your cell phone, does your cell phone work good in your home? Well, yeah, it does. Well, then this is gonna work as well because you know it works off the same towers. Um, it's not available for everyone, so you do want to check your address. Me personally, um, I didn't have the 5G available where I live. I did have the 4G. I figured, hey, let's give it a shot and see what it does. So that's what this is. So when getting it in the box, uh, very easy, just like anything these days, right? You go into a store or you order online, whatever your fancy. And this uh, got delivered to me. They're doing a special right now. Uh, of course, with anything nowadays, you have a worry-free guarantee of some sort. So you have a box here, has a setup guide, package contains power adapter, ethernet cable. So that's what that looks like. It says Verizon Internet Gateway on the box. Box is 100% recyclable ready. You got a setup guide. So plug it in, place the internet gateway on a stable surface as close as possible to a window or exterior facing wall. Plug one end of the power adapter into the gateway and the other end into a power outlet on your wall. Check for a solid white light. The gateway's blinking white light means it's starting up, then the light may fluctuate between red and white for up to five minutes. Don't unplug. If it settles on solid white, you're all set. If it blinks white, it's updating software. Don't unplug it and wait about three minutes. If it settles on solid red, repeat step one in a different spot in your home or get help in my Verizon app. Then of course, start connecting your devices. There's a QR code there for to get help, I assume, in terms of setting up. Um, it's actually a really nice looking box, right? Uh, you have your credentials on the bottom as far as the IMEI number because it is again basically a cell phone and how they do that it has a device ID so you have the button here uh, that's gonna be the light you have the Verizon check uh, it is a nice white box so it uh, will blend in well to other devices you may have got two ethernet ports on the bottom your power plug is on the bottom right in here you can see that there and it's got a groove here so you can put the wires out here to give it a nice stable base when you put it down take that off I guess it's just a white piece um, so yeah we are going to plug this in I want to do a speed test so I'm going to plug this into my laptop my laptop is not cellular it has to have a Wi-Fi connection or a plug-in from an Ethernet and we're gonna do some speed test to see what the results are from 4G right not 5G 4G speeds and I'm pretty much thinking it's going to be slow um, I really, really, really want that 5G. It's just not available for me yet. Uh, you can actually look when going on the Verizon site. I think it's Verizon Wireless Internet or Verizon Home Internet. You can pop in your address and it'll tell you. And they actually have this for businesses as well. Separate plans, separate process, but they do have with you know business wireless internet through Verizon Wireless as well for businesses. If you have a business account, this is a consumer one. So let's take a look at those speed tests. All right, we have the MacBook here. We have the 4G Verizon internet does come with an ethernet cable, but I don't have that capability on the laptop. And you have your plug as well, which is gonna plug right in to the bottom of that right there. So let's take a look. So I wanted to run a speed test just on what I currently have. I'm not plugged into anything. I don't even have the power cable on, no ethernet. 
to my current Wi-Fi situation. I just did speed test, Googled it. Here it is. I have the Verizon home internet plugged in. It did a fan noise um, when it came on and now it has a white light. So that's what that looks like. But this is not on that. I just wanted to do a speed test to see what I currently have. So 419 Mbps download, 204 Mbps upload. That's pretty good. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look and see what the Verizon home internet does on that same speed test. All right, I am currently connected and the network name is right on the bottom. The password's right on the bottom. Um, very, very easy to find. So we are gonna run the speed test now on 4G. So you can see quite a big difference. We were over 400 download. I think it was 100 or so, 200 upload. Um, quite, quite a big difference from what we have for home now versus 4G. Now, in defense, it's not 5G. I really, really, really want to get 5G because I know um, from what I've read, it's a, it's 300 over 300, um, which again is is not what I have in terms of download currently. Upload, yes, but hey, for the price point, it's much cheaper. The 5G even, 4G obviously is less. The 5G is much cheaper than what I have now. So. I would love to be able to get that. I just gotta wait till my address qualifies so I can test it. But as we can see, the 4G, um, you know, hey, you have no internet now, you're looking for something cheap. I think it's as low as 25 bucks if you have auto pay, if you have a premium smartphone plan, chops it in half. Um, not bad, 25 bucks a month. Uh, you know, this will allow me to get online, um, do the things I need to do, maybe do some banking or whatnot. Um, you know, uh, let's see, YouTube. I mean, it's not terribly bad. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not bad. It's going fairly quick. Let's see videos. Let's see how a video plays. I don't have the sound on, let's see. I mean, it loaded quick. It's not bad. I mean, again, for 25 bucks a month, not bad at all. Um, let me know what you think. Would you like to have the 4G in your home in terms of this particular internet? I know other wireless carriers are probably doing similar things as well. I had access to this one, so this is the one I was able to test. Um, so I gotta also keep finances in mind personally. Um, I'd love to be able to one day to be able to get multiple networks personally so I can test them all out. It's just not feasible for me at this time, um, but I would love to do that in the future. So let me know what you think about the 4G Verizon home internet um would this work for you um and again once i get to the go ahead from verizon at my personal address where 5g can work i will definitely be testing that have a great day like share subscribe we appreciate each and every one of you thank you